What's up guys, Edmund here of Artistic Entertainment and today I want to talk about this guy. The PlayStation Portal. I know I'm late to the party, but let's talk about it anyway. So I have had the PlayStation Portal for maybe about three days now and um, when this thing first rolled out I was like, yeah, I'm not picking this thing up. Why would I buy this when I can do the same thing on my tablet i can do the same thing on my smartphone so and on my computer so what's the reason for me to pick this up lately uh, i've seen an article uh, on my news feed that states that now you can play your playstation plus premium games on your playstation portal without the need to connect to the playstation 5. so that piqued my interest and i decided okay let me go ahead and pick this device up and see how well it works now I haven't purchased a PlayStation Plus premium subscription again just yet. I had let it go because I wasn't using it. But I do plan on purchasing it later on today so I can just play around with it and see how well it works. So far the PlayStation Portal is actually a good device. Um, I've been streaming my PlayStation 5 console from my uh, to my smartphones via the Remote Play app as well as my computers and it works well. Uh, the thing about the PlayStation Portal, from what I see, is that it kind of takes away those extra steps, like pairing the Bluetooth controller, uh, downloading the PlayStation um, Remote Play app. When you connect your PlayStation 5 to this device, the PlayStation Portal, it, to me it seems like it's seamless. It just works, uh, which I do enjoy. Now, when it lags, it lags. Uh, if there's an issue, there's going to be an issue. But when it works, the experience is phenomenal. I've been playing Resident Evil 2 on it and, and I've been playing um, Sonic Colors on it and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with what this thing can do so far and um, there, are night, there are times where I don't want to get up like my PlayStation 5 is in, is in my um, living room there's times where I want to play some games on my PlayStation 5 I don't feel like getting up I don't feel like uh, pairing my or connecting my Bluetooth controller I just want to just hop on it and go well PlayStation portal is the answer to that and if you have like a family and maybe they're watching the television and you don't want to interrupt them this is the way to go so far I've had a great experience with the PlayStation portal I kind of do recommend it I do wish that the price was a bit cheaper as, as compared to like spending 200 bucks I would say is to me is maybe worth maybe a hundred bucks maybe 150 at the max um, but 200 mm, I wouldn't say that it's worth that uh, but to be able to stream and play anywhere in the world in PlayStation 5 it's it's a pretty good deal uh, especially if you have a good Wi-Fi connection which I kind of wish this had like uh, built-in 5g or something like that I think this would have made it a lot more better more better <laughs> I think this would have made it a lot better if uh, it had 5g built into it which I'm always complaining about handheld consoles not having 5G. Um, if this had 5G to me, this would be a no-brainer. I would gladly spend 200 bucks with no, with no problem. But because it doesn't and it relies on Wi-Fi, I'm like, okay, I'll just check it out. So, but overall, my experience has been positive with this uh, device. To me, it's like a, a PlayStation 5 controller on steroids. Um, and that's all it is to me, it's just you can just stream with it but the presentation of it is very good i do enjoy the presentation i did enjoy the presentation of the playstation portal uh and to me it's just it's very handy like so, like for instance i have an asus rog ally right so if i'm going to stream uh games from a playstation 5 to my asus rog ally or even my uh, gaming pc then it seems that I would need a PlayStation 5 controller. To, that's what I use to connect to my PC because that works a lot better. Even when I'm using my Asus ROG Ally, I use that to connect to my PlayStation 5 so that I can play it and it has like a seamless type of uh, gameplay. This, the PlayStation Portal, in my opinion, it cuts, that, cuts all that out because you have a built-in PlayStation 5 controller you have the screen here and it just works very well uh, when it comes to just cutting everything else out no clicking the app you don't have to click an app 
No, um, you don't have to worry about pairing a controller. Uh, when you hit connect on it, boom, most of the time it just connects. Uh, that's how, that's my experience. Um, I do have the highest, uh, I guess you could say the highest internet that um, my carrier currently offers. So to me, it's just, it just works well. Uh, I haven't played it everywhere, but today I may go ahead and do that. I may try to get a little footage so you guys can see if you guys are interested in that. But my experience with the PlayStation um, Portal so far has been pretty good, pretty positive. 200 bucks, I still think that's a bit too much, um, but uh, I guess it is what it is. And if you want to get the experience, you gotta pay to play. And um, I do hope Sony comes out with a, uh, a better uh, system or a standalone console like they did with the PlayStation Portable, the PlayStation Vita. So a few things that I do not uh, like about this um, device is that I do wish the screen was at least 2K. Uh, and the reason why I say 2K, uh, it could be 4K. But I look at it like Sony has a, um, a Xperia line, and I know that Sony is like, I guess you could say separate from PlayStation, but they probably do manufacture the hardware. So I wish this this device was at least 2K instead of just Full HD. I wish it was OLED instead of just a regular LCD. I understand that they may have done this to cut costs, I get it, but uh, I, will, I will, love, will have loved to see these features OLED at least 2k be able to connect to 5g data so that uh we can have that on the go experience i think that would have been uh like for people who um saw this device and it first came out you know wi-fi that's cool but to be able to have it connect to your um carrier at t verizon t-mobile whatever carrier you with even like if you're outside of the us to be able to do that i feel would be a game changer for this device and it will be all the more reason to pick it up not only do you can you stream to your playstation 5 but you can connect to a carrier yeah that's magic if you ask me and that's innovation um but i get that what sony was attempting to do with this but those are just my few things that i would have loved to have seen with these devices but overall this is a pretty impressive device if you do have the playstation portal let me know what you think about this device uh, do you feel like the price is worth it? Uh, have you had a good experience with it? Have you had a bad experience with it? Um, and are you currently waiting for a PlayStation to come out with a standalone console? I definitely am. But I'm going to check out this premium um, subscription, see if it's good and how well it works with the PlayStation Portal. Uh, if you have already checked it out, feel free to um, leave that comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about it. My name is Edmund of Artistic Entertainment. Until the next video, I'll talk to you soon.